I'm Dan DeRocha and this is Baker's Insight. Uh, we get questions all the time about financing and leasing and here at Erica Record we do also participate in, in these programs. We have a variety of partners. Uh, one in particular that we know very closely is First Lease. With me today is uh, David Maskey. First Lease has been in business for uh, over eight years. We're indirectly owned by a private bank in the Philadelphia market. It's been around since mid-1900s called First Trust Bank. What is the minimum requirement to start talking about getting a, getting a lease for a piece of equipment? Well, there's really no minimum requirement per se. Um, our re credit requirements state you have to be in business at least two years, and you have to have a credit score of at least 640 and above. However, so you mentioned the two years of business. Uh, as far as personal credit, mm -hmm. does that play a factor in this at all? Do you have to, do you have to use your personal credit? Well, it, yes and no. Um, if we have different contracts you could enter into. One is called a corporate only contract. Corporate only if you've been in business at least five years and we, then we run your business credit and you do a, can get qualified with just corporate credit without personal credit uh, information, sure, we can offer you financing that way. But typically, if you're not in business for at least five years, then you're gonna have to also personally guarantee. Do you have to run someone's credit before they can receive a quote? I can give you a quote based upon our, the programs that are up on your website. Um, it's simply, you just have to know the amount of finance and the term that you're looking to do and it's gonna give you a, a general quote for 24, 36, 48, or 60 months. Now, That's something that we also offer that most other financing companies don't offer is you, we can tailor that program. You don't have to do a straight 24, straight 36, straight 48, or straight 60. We have things called seasonal payments. Let's say during the course of a year, you're a little bit slower during three or four months of the year. And you're, you know what, it's gonna be really, really difficult for me to make that payment that month. Well, then we can say, okay, well, what eight months or nine months of the year are you really busy? And then we'll say, okay, those three or four months, you only have to pay us $25, $50, $100, whatever it may be. What about the people that are a little bit less fortunate that have less than perfect credit or maybe have made some mistakes? What are their options? We've partnered up with, I'd say, about seven to eight different banks that we feel are our best partners. And reasons being is, let's say, you're, let's say if you have one piece of equipment, one customer, that it's just they're looking for $250,000, $300,000. It's too, too high for our liking. We partner up with banks on that side. Also on the lower side, let's say if you're new in business or if your credit's a little bit shaky, we've made two or three strategic partnerships on that side where, okay, it can still go through us, but they're gonna do the financing for you. A very popular thing that we get asked is whether we have used equipment. The follow-up question is, can we lease or finance used equipment? Absolutely. Financing for used equipment, you may not be able to go as far as five years, maybe 48 months, maybe uh, 36 months, but same term, same everything else. What about those customers that have cash in hand, mm -hmm. are willing to buy, and they say, why, why do I want to even, even consider financing? I have the cash up front, let me just pay it off and move on. Well, I mean, that's terrific that they have the cash. Don't get me wrong, I, I wish I had the cash to pay for it also. However, um, it's, in a business, as a business owner, you don't want to just outlay your cash to buy a piece of equipment when, God forbid, something else goes. Maybe your air conditioner goes, maybe your electric or whatever it may be that you cannot get financing for, there's that cash that you could use it. But also, another thing I would recommend is have them speak to their accountant because there's differences between as far as tax write-offs, whether they're paying cash, whether you're financing, or actually whether you're leasing. Well, thank you very much, David. Not a problem. Um, thank you again for First Lease for coming by and spending a couple minutes with us. If you have any more questions about equipment financing or even equipment in general, please visit ericarecord.com and we will gladly try to help you. Thank you.